Fantastic display from different clubs over the weekend in the MPFL, EPL, La Liga, Serie A. And congrats to Barcelona for winning the Super Cup there. So many Barcelona fans are really uh, so happy right now. Welcome here on the show, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Time to take you around the world of sport in 30 minutes. Let's look at those activities that happened during the weekend, especially focusing on Nigerian football, starting from the MPFL. Four away wins, and you have two uh, in fact, a fantastic play uh, from all the MPFL players that really did well play in the MPFL match day one. Although we just have to appreciate the fact that all the teams fought hard uh, to play in that particular game. Well, right now, MPFL match day one, Rangers, Platte United, Wiki get shocker at home. Well, a tough one there, uh, really. Uh, Platte United was a 3 3 uh, uh, goal thriller, six goals scored there. Wiki, Rangers, all of them get in the defeat well from now let's look at the way the result is actually standing uh, looking at how it happened in group a quara uh, united new new against gombe united you have plat united playing a six goal thriller three three against shooting star shooting star drawing the first blood remon stars two nil against el kanemi warriors uh, they did well over there in kenya you have nasarawa united losing at home against ayimba two one aqua united nil you have bende insurance two and you transfer that so group b well from the way it is in group b you look at the result uh, in group b quickly you have uh, rangers international they were defeated at home by abia warriors what a shocker they are two nil and you have bielsa united playing one one against the kada doma united one Sunshine South of Akure won. Rivers United defeated Lobby Stars at Adoki Amosia Market Stadium in Port Harcourt 2 1. Wiki Torres for Bauchi also receiving a shocker at home from the team from Niger State. Niger Tornadoes, whose tornadoes were so hot, Wiki Torres could not hold it down. Good one for all the teams that actually won. You saw two uh, home, uh, at least uh, draws there. You have uh, uh, from the way it is for away wins good one for all those uh, teams that actually won and right now briefly let's just uh, swing to the tables as he actually went uh, at least as uh, he's standing right now bende insurance in group a they are top of the group after the defeat aqua united in the first game of the season uh remo starts at second they have uh, the same point and also plus two Eimba now they stand tall there with three points a, a plus one shooting stars plus united quara you have uh, gombe nasarawa aqua united and el kanemi warriors in that pecking order talking about <laughs> Uh, that's group A. In group B, uh, let's look at it also. Even though match day one, you have uh, Abia Warriors, you defeated uh, Rangers International. Shockingly, it was a good one for them. Plus two in goal difference, you have points uh, where they have uh, uh, three points there. Niger Tornadoes, they have three points. Uh, plus two, Rivers United, uh, they have three points with a plus one. Bayosa United, Sunshine Stars, Dakada. Doma United, Lobby Stars, uh, well, from their Rangers International, and you have, uh, and you have uh, Wiki Torres of Bauchi there having no point at all. Well, talking about uh, all the activities that happened during the week, uh, talking about uh, MPFL <coughs> Match Day uh, 1. Right now, we'll be waiting to link up with uh, Eche Amos, the Media Officers uh, Forum Chairman, and also the Chairman, the M uh, Nasarawa United Media Officer, who will be joining us to talk about uh, what happened in just at New Jaws Stadium. While we're waiting for Eche to link us, we'll be at least having the studio uh, Yusuf Akogu. <laughs> Good to be here again. Yes, uh, at <laughs> least uh, I hope it's not Chelsea win that's making you to call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there. Yeah. You saw they rolling out all the MPFA matches, the one that actually uh, shocking ones for Rangers losing to Abia Warriors, though it's Oriental Derby. You have uh, Remo Stars winning their game 2 0 mm -hmm. against El Kanemi Warriors. You also have <coughs> Eimba defeating Nasarawa United, two goals to one at New Jaws Stadium in Jaws. Uh, Aqua United also, they are the first one actually lost at home. Yeah. Then their insurance doing well against them, 2 0. Niger Tornados also defeating Wiki Tories over there in Bauchi, Bauchi. 2 0. Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a good week for NPFL. I think what we were used to before was um, in almost all NPFL games, home, the home teams always win. But we're actually seeing at least, at least uh, in this uh, uh, week one, we're seeing about you know, four, win, four wins, uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, in the opening day of the league so i think it's a very good one for the team and, and uh, i think it's a long way it's a long season in just uh, the week, week one so it's too early to say i think uh, quite a whole lot uh, is going to happen going forward mm. Mm. Well, well, well i love the fact that finally mm. 
the game started <laughs> absolutely <laughs> because yeah. when you look at mpfl uh, a lot of people were like doubting that they were doubtful that maybe it won't happen but by the time aqua united played against uh, insurance okay we saw that okay maybe that was the first one let's see the remaining mm -hmm. nine mm -hmm. and truly it started it's yesterday started. yes i think we need to actually or saturday rather uh, absolutely i think we need to actually do quite a whole lot in terms of organization and management of uh, NPF, npfl because we we have to be consistent you, you understand we have to be consistent like the epl when epl end in june may june you know that it's going to start by august september mm. so the same thing with uh, la liga syria the french league on and all of that i think that is what what what, uh, what i think we should learn from since this is uh, the kind of you know the, the pattern or the kind of arrangement that we are having in our league then we need to learn so that we can actually maintain that consistency it's not a situation whereby uh, the league will, will start january this year by the, by next uh, other year it's starting by december or it's starting november or october and all of that i think that is not the best way to manage a league i think we've been having this experience for a very long time well thank god thankfully uh, it has started that we hope that they will learn actually from from this and then probably trying to see how they can get the organization better going forward a oh, good one there coming from Yusufa Kogu talking <coughs> about the MPFL match day one the abridged league that we've been waiting for finally it has just uh, begun there good one for all the home wins and all the away wins right now it seems uh, MPFL this is going to be a different ball game because we saw four home wins Mm, yeah, for a way win, a way wins for something. Yes, absolutely. I think it's a very good one. We saw Inimba doing, a, uh, uh, got in a fantastic result. So nobody is surprised anyway. Winning in us in in Latvia, so it's a very good one for them. You also see uh, uh, Bendel Insurance beating, uh, they're beating Aqua United. Uh, Aqua United, uh, they, they 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 have done so well. I think they are the defending champion of the NPFL. And now you're now seeing a uh, uh, Bendel Insurance. Uh, you, you you know the, them in those days. Uh, you, you, they were one of the f a strong force to reckon with, but you see them doing so well uh, this season. So we hope that uh, they will actually maintain this, uh, keep this momentum. We also hope that the officials will not come in and then uh, spoil the league at the end of the day. We know a situation whereby match, uh, officials will always want the, the home team to win. Mm. We hope that that will not happen again, given what we have seen in this opening day. We also see here uh, Abia Warriors shocking uh, Enugu Rangers, mm. one of the powerhouses in the Nigerian football league. So uh, it, it, it is it, open, open. maybe because they play in Oka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know they are used to Enugu. Yeah, Enugu is their cathedral, to, as they call it. Yes, I, I know Enugu is the like the uh, the fortress mm. as I, as we used to call them. But the, again, uh, playing in Oka again, I don't think it's an excuse. Losing After to, Abia is also from the southeast. To, uh, they are also from the southeast. Uh, it depends. Uh, but again, uh, Enugu uh, Rangers is a, a, a big club when it comes to NPFL. They mm. have been there for a very long time. They have participated in the continental competitions and all of that. So I think losing to Abia Warrior, who, whom I think they are not really that very strong. Uh, since uh, um, uh, uh, I mean Ifanyuba, uh, until uh, there was when Ifanyuba came in that they became so strong. But I, I don't think any any good Rangers has any excuse. Good one there. We've been talking about the MPFL and Yusuf Akugu have been giving us some analysis there. Well, while we join Eche Amos, uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm good, good one that we have Eche Amos uh, with us, uh, at least joining us from Joss uh, concerning that game. You are the chairman, media officers forum, and also media officer at Nasarawa United. Uh, that game against Eimba, what happened? Well, it was a tricky game altogether. Um, a game that was completely dominated by my side, mm. that is Nasarawa United. And uh, against the run of play, we conceded in the 32nd minute mm. from a very unprecedented uh, position. Uh, the goalkeeper was caught napping, and um, shortly after that, I think about five minutes after that, uh, they went and registered their second goal from a set piece. Mm. The same way, the goalkeeper caught napping. Mm. It was in every appearance for Nassau United. He joined us during the, the break or the preseason. And um, from there on, we dominated. We also scored a goal, thinking that we had reduced the deficit before the break. But uh, while the referee pointed to the middle of the field, the linesman raised his flag and said, uh, no, there was an outside uh, infringement there. So the goal was disallowed. But well, the second half again, we came. We put in everything we needed with the hope of pulling the draw and at the same time changing the scoring. Mm. We're only able to score a consolation. And, uh, 
all efforts from the board. And that was how it ended. It was a painful result because we never wanted it to be that way from the beginning of the season for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, even though it's so painful, I can actually hear that from your voice, uh, Che Amos. <laughs> but don't worry, at least uh, we still have so many games to play. Right now, how is it? Because uh, I know it's not always easy uh, losing the first game, especially when you're at home. And I know how difficult it is to play against Ayimba, although uh, uh, Nasarwa Inet and Ayimba knows themselves. But right now, this, uh, the players, the coaching crew, I uh, listened to what the coach was saying. Well, really not blaming the uh, goalkeeper too much, but right now, Let's talk about the, the team, the, the boys. How, how are they feeling about this, this particular loss to Aimba? You have to let go of the past mm. if you want to get into the future. Uh, the disappointment of that day has already been put aside immediately after the game. We came back to our hotel room and uh, the coach assembled <laughs> all the players and the officials and addressed them in a modest way. I told them uh, it was a bad day for everybody. Nobody will be happy with that outcome. But we just have to let go and set our focus on the next part. Mm. Which is the game against our Academy Warriors of Midweek on Thursday. It was supposed to be during the midweek, but um, because of the stress for uh, Academy Warriors, they will still be on their way and there is no way they will get to Midweek before Wednesday. Uh, they needed to rest and they, we also need to rest. Uh, we've had about uh, two days break and uh, we should be setting our foot uh, on the road any moment from now. Good one there on the last lag of it. Let's look at, uh, you'll be playing against El Kalemi. Uh, that should be in my degree now. Well, uh, you, according to what you just said, now you'll be entering the road, trying to move. Uh, uh, what are you looking at against El Kalemi? Yeah, they post much reaction and the mentality in the team is always this. If a team can come and beat us, we can equally beat them away from home. Mm. We can equally pick points away from home. Two seasons ago, we won three matches away from home. At very difficult teams. What it was, uh, Heartland of Awayway, we did so East. Last season, we picked uh, maximum points against MFN. It was a difficult season for us, a season of transition. But this time around, uh, the first match day, we witnessed four away wins, two home wins, and uh, four draws. Mm. I think this is a, is a excellent. It boils down to what we call excellent officiating and how there is some kind of stabilization gradually we're experiencing in the league. Mm. Teams now have confidence to pick points anyway. So we have this big expectation that we will go to middle group and get the maximum points as well. Good one out there, even though I wanted to stop with you, but this one you just mentioned, looking at the fact that you mentioned officiating is getting better. The first match and the matches, and you saw uh, a lot of uh, uh, issues that we normally see before is now begins to ease away. What do you think? It seems the IMC style is working. Yeah, when uh, you see misbehavior and unethical practices in professional organizations, you should know that, uh, number one, either the welfare of the staffers is not up to date, or there was poor leadership. And there are no stringent measures for erring individuals. Uh, we've witnessed some kind of poor officiating, ridiculing, and embarrassing even to the international community. But at uh, this time around, we needed to take the bull by the horn. And I, I must commend the IMC, the NFF, for ensuring that uh, officiating, because that is the first aspect of football. If you don't have good officiating, no matter the game you play, you will see it will still not end well. Mm. So to end any violence at match venues, the referees have to be up to their game. Uh, well, how would they be up to their game? It means their weapon must be taken care of appropriately. This issue of uh, fire brigade approach, you have a match uh, on Wednesday and you are going to the town where the match is taking place on Tuesday night. Hmm. What time do you rest? When do you go to pre-match interviews or programs or meetings? I mean, it's, it's disheartening. Some of them go through long journeys on the road. 
So uh, I think last season, one or two referees lost their lives on the road, which is not supposed to be there. Mm. What about the hazard allowance? What about uh, the, 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 the risks involved in officiating? Mm. So what do you pay them and to their families when they pass through all this risk? But when you take care of the welfare of the referee very well and you guarantee him adequate security, he can be at the top of his game anywhere. It doesn't matter. In Europe, teams lose at home. 6-0, 7-0, and the heavens will never fall. So if it happens in Nigeria, it means uh, wherever there are priorities, they should take measures appropriately. Good one there. Well, Eche Amos, thank you very much for joining us from JOS, the Media Officer, Nasarawa United Chairman, Media Officers Forum. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. President, media officers. <laughs> thank, you. Well, there. thank you very much, uh, President, Chairman, all the same. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria <laughs> City. <laughs> anyway, 24 goals uh, were scored actually in the MPFL match day one. And right now, we've been unveiling all the activities in the world of football in Nigerian League. A bridge league will be run between now and May, and afterwards, by August. Uh, we expect another league to start. We are trying to get our steps back to the right path. Good one coming from IMC and also NFF, MPFL, all working together. Ministry of Youth and Sport Development, adding everything they just can add together to make sure our football sport get better. Now let's go international as we talk about uh, Premier League. Just yes, it's now. Just a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that uh, he actually admitted that the offici officiating was not bad, was mm. very good, and uh, his team lost gallantly, which is very, very good. Another thing I also think NF uh, NPF, I mean, NPFL management need to look at is uh, the issue of pre uh, players traveling on the road. Mm. It's not healthy. And if you travel on uh, travel on Nigerian roads, you can't take players all through those stress and expect them to perform the next day. I still don't so, understand so how they survive. It's difficult. It's difficult. You can't travel from Aba down to Meduguri and you, you, you are playing the, next, play the day. next day. No way. Now there will be matches on Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. Matches are coming up today, exactly. Monday, and you can imagine In, now yeah, even somebody leaving just, just now to, to go Meduguri. to and then play the game on Wednesday. I mean, it's, it's difficult. I think that the, uh, the NPFA management needs to look at it and see how they can actually sort it out. We have airports in almost all these places. We just have that. Uh, we hope something mm. could be done concerning NPFL. When it comes to the <coughs> traveling issue, it's really a big deal. Mm. That particular aspect needs to be looked at. Mm. Talking about the IMC, we mm. really need to check that. And now let's uh, really appreciate the fact that uh, our players uh, and coaches traveling week in, week out to go and play football but the ladies also is not easy. Now, a quick one there. Well, for us now, we just have to look at the fact that right now they are not dropping the button at all. They are topping the league. Let's quickly look at the result of the uh, matches played in the APL over the weekend. Good one for Manchester United. 2-1. Manchester, uh, the city of Manchester right now is red. <laughs> Brighton 3. What happened to Liverpool? They actually working alone against Brighton. Everton lost also at Goodison Impact against Southampton. Leicester. Well, good one for Nottingham Forest. The Forest is getting cleared. 2 0 against Leicester. Wolves 1 0 against West Ham, the WWE team. Brentford 0 0 against Bournemouth. Chelsea. Well, Chelsea seems to be getting their group back. 1 0 against Crystal Palace. And you have uh, Newcastle 1 0 against Fulham. Asna against Tottenham All Sport. Showing class. Asna 2. Tottenham All Sport. New. Now, let's look at the way the table is standing before uh, Kogu will be talking there quickly. Arsenal, yes, they added more, but from the way it is, uh, they add extra two. 47 points after playing 18 matches, 28 goal difference. Manchester City, 39. Uh, well, from the way it is, uh, really, Manchester City is actually red now. Newcastle, they, say, uh, they have 38 points. Man United, you have uh, 38 points, followed by Tottenham Hotspur, Fulham, Brighton, Brentford, Liverpool, and Chelsea that has remained to. Uh, they don't want to move away from 10. They've been there for like <laughs> how many weeks now. Let's flip it to 11 to 20. And you have uh, Axton Villa, Crystal Palace, uh, Nottingham Forest. Good one for them. They're out of relegation zone. Leeds United, Leicester, Wolves, Bournemouth, West Ham, Everton and Southampton. But our attention will be on two matches. Uh, that's Man United, Man City. Yeah, uh, it was a very good game uh, on Saturday. Uh, 
um, going into that game, there were quite a whole lot of, uh, you know, um, a discussion, prediction, and then permutation as well as to where the game was going to swing. A lot of people gave it to Man City because of the quality and all of that. But again, many have forgotten that United, there is a resurgence at United. United. There is quite a whole lot going time. on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, very good work for United. They got that one. And then they've moved up in the league. Gradually, they are becoming a contender, a title contender now in the season. So nobody gave them the chance at the beginning of the season. But again, I think it's a very good improvement. Eric Dehan has done quite a whole lot of work with the team. And they are doing so well right now. One is, I'm, I'm very impressed with their performance. Impressive. Talking about Manchester United. But I want to ask before I delve to, uh, that's Arsenal Tottenham. That goal, that is a bit... Uh, uh, yeah, the goal, uh, if you look at that goal, uh, it's neither here nor there. But again, sometimes luck play out in football. Mm. I think uh, if it was in a, a different uh, uh, scenario, maybe that goal could have, you know, been ruled out. Because he, clearly Rashford actually interfered in the play, though he didn't uh, touch the ball, but he, 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 he interfered in the play. According to Pep Guardiola, he said he confused their defenders and the goalkeeper as well. So I think he was like, he interfered. I think United got lucky there. United got lucky. I actually expect that from you as a Man United fan. <laughs> anyway, well, right now, let's talk about the Gunners. Really, Gunning. Uh, like I said, uh, my youth fan will never agree that they are Gunning everyone down. <laughs> but now, they, uh, they did well against Tottenham Hotspur in the Battle of London. Mm. Yeah, usually, like, uh, they've always done that against Tottenham. Well, they've, let me just say, uh, Tottenham, they've refused to improve. Against us now, they've always come short in almost all their games so far. Uh, in two, three, four seasons. Uh, 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 now, so I think they need quite to do quite a lot. But again, as now you can't take anything away from them. They are doing so well. They've gone, uh, you know, they've gone down almost everybody except Manchester United. <coughs> so they've gone down almost everybody except Manchester United. So we actually look forward to see uh, what will happen next week when they two team uh, may lock on again uh, in the in the EP, uh, EPL. So. Uh, I think good one for them, but it's too early in the day. 20 more matches to go, it's too early in the day to crown them champion. It's not even 20, uh, but although for us now, but right now they are in match day 20 because Fulham, they play their 20th match. match. But exactly. again, uh, if, so you look at, if you look at the to top go. four, yes. look at the top four teams right now, they have 20 more matches to yes, go. Yes, of course, because they, have, they need to add it uh, With the exception of Newcastle United. Well, uh, good one for us now right now, really doing well in the EPL there. No mm. one saw that coming. They really determined that they will hang on at the top of the table. Manchester City defeated by Manchester United. They are the battle of the MM teams. Well, good one for us now. Good one for Man United and all the teams that actually did well. Well, for Brighton against Liverpool, 3-0 uh, against Liverpool, what happened to the Red Corps, as they call them? Mm -hmm. Let's swing up to, uh, quickly, switch straight to La Liga, Spanish La Liga. Matches were also played as we quickly look at the results. 2-1 uh, uh, coming from Girona against Sevilla, Sasuna against Mallorca, 1-0. Sociedad defeated Atletico Bilbao, 3-1. And you look at Getafe losing against Espanyol. If you flip that so the way the table is standing, despite the fact that the big boys didn't play, they were fighting at the Super Copa. Barcelona are still topping. Uh, they have 41 38 for Real Madrid, Real Sociedad. Yes, they are there standing third. Madrid, Atletico Madrid are standing fourth, 28 points alongside Villarreal, Real Betis, Osasuna. And you have uh, Atletico Bilbao, Rayo Vallecano, Mallorca in that pecking order. So 11 to 20, let's look at the way the table is. Girona, Valencia, uh, Almeria, Espanyol, down to Elche. Uh, they are from 11 to 20. Well, from the way it is, the big boys are here to play, but at least uh, the table has shown that uh, they've really done the work even before they went to play Super Copa. Yes, yes. The, if you can see, uh, you see uh, uh, Barcelona leading the table there, 41 points, followed by uh, their arch rival Real Madrid, at 38 points. So the gap between them is quite, is very, very close. Mm. And I think, uh, uh, well, going forward, I think they will actually close that gap. Well, again, it's too early in the day. Well, I won't call this early anymore. You just have to <laughs> tighten your belt. Well, 16, 16 matches games, gone. Yeah, more games and go. actually, they are in match day 17. So, mm. when the two of them come back, mm. they will continue there. Quickly, Italian and Serie A, where they speak some Latin. Let's look at Italian and Serie A results. Matches were played. It was goal galore for Atalanta. 8 2 against Alanitana. You have Ademola Lukman scoring a brace there. 2 0 for Roma. Dibala on song. Torino lost at home against Spezia. Inter Milan 1 against Elas Verona. 
Barcelona, a fantastic result there. And also, not forgetting the fact that the likes of Napoli they were able to win their game. Well, good one. Uh, from the way it is right now, you just have to appreciate the fact that uh, uh, let's look at the way the table is standing anyway. The table there, Napoli at top with 47 points, AC Milan. AC Milan, they have uh, 38 points following uh, Napoli. We have Juventus, Inter Milan, Lazio, Atalanta, Roma. The big boys <laughs> are really working hard there. Yeah. Um, if, if, okay. if you go to the bottom of the table, <coughs> maybe we should, let's just dwell on it. Uh, okay, Bologna, Monza, Lecce, and Poli down to Cremonese. Well, uh, how it is. But if you go back to the beginning of the table, that's from one to ten. Mm. Uh, it's a, a big one for Napoli. Napoli, talking about uh, the way they are right now, they are really doing well when it comes to the way the table is standing. Yeah, so if you look at Napoli, I think they've been consistent like Arsenal since the beginning of the season. So they've done quite so well down to, uh, to the present moment. I watched their game against Juventus over the weekend. A fantastic game it was. Two a brace there from our own Vitor Sim, a fantastic player he's been for for Napoli since he joined them. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be difficult for anybody to, I mean, to, I mean, write Napoli off this season. I mean, they've done quite a whole lot of work and they're still doing it. So they're a fantastic team they are. I think they will, uh, they will win the league. This is like I said at the beginning of the season, this is may likely be the season of, for the underdogs. You and just have to appreciate so well. that. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, Napoli seems they are ready to run away with this, this time yes, around. Yes, yes. They're currently uh, nine points, you know, ahead. Uh, the, uh, 18 matches, the 20, just a 20 more 30, matches. Yeah, absolutely, 20 more matches to go. And if they continue the way they are doing, they are going, I think they will end up winning the league for the first time in a very long time to come. Hmm. And it's well, a credit to our own Victor Sime. Oh, Sime, so Ademola, Lukman, all hmm. of them doing well there. Good one for Nigerian Top players. Top in the Serie Yes, uh, and also, I, I love the fact that Ademola, Lukman, too, is not giving up. Uh, really uh, Atalanta, bro. yes, yes, <laughs> fantastic player. Good one there for Nigerian players. Hmm. Although we'll be talking about that uh, much more in our subsequent edition. But right now, let's talk about uh, the one that happened over there in Spain. Super Copa, as they call it in Spanish. We call it Super Cup in English. Good one for Barcelona. One, two, three. Uh, they defeated Real Madrid and Real Madrid were able to pull one back. Let me say it quietly. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was like a consolation by uh, uh, Benzema in mm. the 93 minutes of the game. So I think a good one for Barcelona. The first trophy for Xavi. Mm. It's a good one for It's a motivation for them. I think this will give them more momentum now to go ahead and win the La Liga. A good one for Barcelona, winning mm. the Super Copa there. Now they will be try at least uh, being uh, spontaneous enough to see if they can continue to win in La Liga also, winning their first trophy on the Javi there. Well, a good one for MPFL also. Finally, it has begun. Well, Ad Akogu Yusuf, thank you very much. Always a pleasure to be here. And also to Eche Amos, who joined us from Joss. We appreciate you there. I am Adeniyi Aji Shafe. Thanks for watching.